Okay, let's start with the big picture. Most of our crime is related to political corruption that has led to open border policies. Our problems in crime start with the 97 corridor and our southern border allowing hundreds of thousands of unvetted immigrants, including some of the worst of every country, to enter without the proper checks. It is also bringing in millions of dollars worth of fentanyl and contributing to the human trafficking and sexual slavery problem that exists right here in America, even today. There are other issues that have contributed to the rise in crime and violence in recent years. The breakdown of the American family, which is cheered on by the left who refuse to accept that a child that is raised in a household with both a mother and a father is much more likely to grow up well-adjusted and successful it's part of the problem. One of our biggest problems is weak on crime governors, the defund the police movement, and the push to curb and curtail police or law enforcement from doing their job. In 2020, Governor Kingsley signed a series of sweeping police reform bills that drastically limited the ability of the police to protect us. And what was the result? Crime skyrocketed. Friends, it's time to end this insanity. No civilized society can survive without proper law and order. In an attempt to appease the radical left and their rabid need for anarchy, the Washington State Demolition Party has handed us over to criminals with no means of civilized protection. This cannot stand. As your congressman, I will fight against anti-policing laws, support pro-law enforcement candidates, and support reasonable funding for the police. I will oppose all laws that cripple our police force preventing or restricting them from performing their jobs properly. I want the police of Washington to know I stand with you. I have your back. It's time to stop groveling and kowtowing to the haters of America and stand up for actual Americans, for our safety and for our security and for our freedom. It's time to start giving kids a reason to dream of becoming a cop again.